Hello everyone! Thank you so much for joining us again for another edition in the Direct Line Development Vlog Series. Today, we're going to be talking about what is SEO. Search engines practically run the world nowadays, but how do they really work? Come along with us as we explore what's really behind a Google search. Upon their conception, search engines such as Google literally changed the way we view the world. People began to recognize their utility and convenience, and thus wanted to explore the ways by which they could use search engines to their advantage. As it became popular for businesses to own websites, they found a direct correlation between the amount of people that visited their website, traffic influx, and the amount of customers that made purchases from them. In fact, the correlation was so strong that it is now almost a necessity for a business to have a website to be successful. Search engine optimization, also known simply as SEO, is a technique by which programmers and internet connoisseurs methodically apply tried techniques to their website in order to increase their rank in popular search engines, such as Google, Yahoo, or Bing. The ultimate goal of SEO and those employing its techniques is to achieve top positions in the search result rankings for a variety of keywords and phrases relevant to the website being promoted. For example, a web design company in Philadelphia will likely want to appear at the top of Google for phrases such as web design, web development in Philadelphia, or even web design for small business. The reasoning behind the desire to be number one is simple. The higher you rank in Google for relevant keywords and phrases, the more people will be exposed to your company or business. The more people that see your website, the more money you stand to make, plain and simple. SEO can drive sales, increase calls to your company, even find you new employees. It's really a fascinating way to increase business. But all these benefits beget the question, why doesn't everyone use search engine optimization on their website to increase their rank and become the best? The truth is, SEO is an art. It's a science that never stops developing or changing because companies like Google are constantly updating and perfecting their search engine algorithms that they are using to create a fair and accurate search engine environment as possible. To become a true SEO specialist would require years of work, training, and sleepless nights. While not many people want to dedicate this much time to understanding SEO or search engine optimization, they do increasingly want to understand the general principles behind it. SEO could not be more relevant to a business's success today. In this video, we hope to open your eyes to the complex world of SEO in a way that's easy to understand and to put into practice. So once again, what is SEO? It is worth repeating that SEO is a website promotion skill that combines in-depth knowledge with complex processes that work in conjunction to reach the desired outcome. While we could provide you with an extensive list of various SEO techniques, you'd be better off buying a textbook on the subject that explains some of the jargon. With this information in mind, you must realize that it is only a true specialist who can bring a website to the forefront of Google's result rankings. Not all websites are created equal. The classic SEO model will work for some company websites, but not for others. This is where the specific knowledge of an SEO specialist comes into play. However, that is not only to say that the standard approach to SEO won't bring your company results. In fact, it's so effective that a company, in theory, though companies like this do not exist, could be successful by spending nothing on marketing but their website, internet access, and search engine optimization. So let's not take the time to consider some of the main tools of SEO promotion and why the internet is such a popular advertising outlet for goods and services promotion. First and foremost, SEO is necessary for Google. Google is is most interested in creating an environment where its users are delivered the most relevant and accurate search results as possible. Therefore, as developers and SEO specialists, it's our task to show Google and its robots that the site we're promoting is the most relevant site to appear for a certain group of keywords and phrases. However, we must also consider the fact that there are literally millions upon millions of websites in existence today. There will be thousands of websites that cover the same topic. In order to compensate for this, Google has developed an algorithm according to which websites are evaluated and assessed. This algorithm is what determines the rank of a particular website in regards to another. 
So why does my company need SEO? Attracting people to your website through paid advertising is becoming more expensive and less effective. Further, once you stop paying for the advertising, the results disappear entirely. SEO is a different approach. You will still pay an expert to optimize your website, but these payments all contribute to a permanent adjustment strategy. SEO has multiple compounding effects whose results continue to improve over time. In the long term, search engine optimization is one of the best investments for your business in terms of visibility and promotion. Greater visibility and promotion are both good for your potential customers. Not only are you receiving the obvious benefits from having more people visit your website, but you're also providing added convenience for your existing and potential customers. If, for instance, you're a web design company in Philadelphia, who knew, and your website is optimized for search engines, potentially potential customers who Google something like Web Design Studio in Philadelphia, and you appear at the top of the result listings. And you just made their search easier for them. The convenience of Google then reflects positively on your company and customers begin to associate it with you. So what are the best keywords to use? We divide keywords into three categories, high frequency, mid frequency, and low frequency. For example, the pair web design is a high-frequency keyword. As a web design company in Philadelphia, we search this term hundreds of times per month, and it's still very difficult to reach Google's number one spot with it because it's such a competitive word. Web design company is an example of a mid-frequency request. There are not thousands of key phrases like this, but hundreds. Their competitiveness is noticeably lower, and it is much easier to attain top-ranking positions with them. Best web design company for small businesses is an example of a low frequency key phrase. These phrases are searched only a few times per month with practically no competition. It is thus much easier to achieve high results with these types of phrases. You should note that it's better to have a site with 20 to 30 low frequency words in the number one position of Google's rankings than a site has one or two high frequency words in the back 30. This is because you will get much more traffic. When working on a particular project, we select an SEO strategy that best works in accordance with the above mentioned facts, as well as the particular industry standards. So in short, what do I need to do to increase the rank of my site? As a preface to avoid any unwitting oversimplification, we will repeat that SEO is a science with literally thousands of moving parts working together in a multitude of ways. However, for the purpose of general understanding, SEO promotion work can be divided into three large blocks. The first block is internet optimization. This is where our developers will optimize your site's code with text on your site, with photos, videos, etc. We'll go through every page and every line on every page to make adjustments according to the preferences of Google's algorithms and our promotion strategy. The second block, external optimization focuses on the sites referring to you. Which sites reference you and how often you're referenced, how popular are these referring sites? These are the factors that Google also takes into account when promoting your site. It's an obvious difference between your mom tweaking a link, uh, tweeting a link to your site on Twitter and the Wall Street Journal sharing a link to your homepage. The third block consists of behavioral characteristics. This holds a lot of weight for Google. It has to do with a combination of the functionality and design of your website. If the users are finding your site through Google and closing out of it right away, bouncing, this will have an adverse effect on your site on Google. And if users are entering your site, clicking through, reading, watching videos, and making purchases, this is going to positively affect your site in the search rankings. So what to do while waiting for your SEO to bring new customers to your site? When working with organic SEO in any form, a general rule is that it will take about six months for the first results to take place. With this in mind, what is one thing to do during this waiting period? The most effective use of your time and money during this period will be to concentrate on social media marketing during this period of time and to, do, and to supplement your SEO with efforts of a variety of promotional events and social media. While each event or sale, whichever you prefer, will not have an astounding effect of driving traffic to this site individually, the collective effects of multiple events and sales will serve as a good buffer 
while you wait for your organic SEO results to kick in. This strategy is nothing to write home about in the long run, but is highly effective in short-term bursts of traffic. It is also worth noting that the higher your presence in social media, the more effective your search engine optimization will be as it takes root. Stay tuned for another video coming up soon, expounding on this topic in detail. So why should professionals trust SEO? Since its conception, people have been trying to manipulate their appearance in Google. Why, what was once a simple task has become incredibly difficult thanks to the extreme technology advancements of the company. It's nearly impossible nowadays to skew Google's results beyond the confines of its algorithmic boundaries. The only way you can do this inauthentically is through black hat SEO te techniques, which by the way, are illegal. There are also scams. Some SEO experts will proclaim that the number one way uh, to get the number one spot on Google is to have as many links referring to your site as possible. And they're willing to sell you these links at a bargain. So you buy the links and you notice that your results have increased tenfold on Google. The next day, however, Google has already noticed and corrected your falsely inflated ranks on its results. You're down thousands of dollars. We just see this happen all the time, far too often. And it is fixable, but it is a long and expensive process. This is why we work with organic search engine optimization techniques, also known as white hat SEO. These techniques are those that even after the SEO work is complete, this is incredibly valuable. Organic SEO is a permanent adjustment strategy designed to benefit your website long after the process has been completed. If you're curious about how your site stacks up against the others in your industry, send us a link and we'll run a free SEO analysis of your website. You can do that by sending it to our website or by putting it in the comments below. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and were able to get a general understanding of the multifaceted world of SEO. Be sure to share this video and leave questions or comments in the section below. Thank you again for joining us for this video. We look forward to you joining us next time in our series. Thank you.